Hi, and welcome back to Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a brand new handheld XRF by Evident Scientific. This is the VantaCore. So we're gonna dive into how that works on the various alloys that are out there. In this case, I've got some aluminum, stainless steel, and some copper alloys, and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, here we've got the case, much smaller case, by the way, and bam, everything is nice and compact in here. We've got this nice high quality foam, um, not the stuff that breaks down very easily. We've got a standalone battery charger here so that you can charge your battery. This will actually charge the battery faster than the Vanta will use it. So you always want to keep one battery charged. You do have two batteries typically here. I've already put one in the analyzer for the demonstration purposes of this video. There's a USB cord and a power cord to plug those things in. This same power accessory here that plugs into uh, the wall also plugs directly into the Olympus Vanta. And then of course we've got some windows which we'll have a window change video coming up. I like the design of these exterior windows a lot, uh, but let's get into the, to the Vanta itself. So here we go. Now first thoughts are when I pick it up, the handle down in here is very small and easy to grab. Um, there is a wrist strap off the back of this analyzer. It does feel a little bit prickly to me, so I'm not as big of a fan of that. Um, there are parts here, that they kind of like when you melt a shoelace or something that's been frayed or a rope that's been frayed with a, with a lighter. Um, you have some ends like that in the construction of this wrist strap, and I'm not as much of a fan of that. But um, it still does the job very well, and if you're wearing long sleeves, you probably wouldn't have that issue. So first of all, what we need to do next is um, we've covered pretty much everything in the box. This is your x-ray paperwork, so things like your radiation survey and your calibration data, um, and that's pretty much it. So let's look at just the analyzer. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the Vanta core. Now here, you can see the design is roughly the same. There's that narrower handle here, which is easier to grab. And just like with most power tools, you've got a battery spot on the bottom. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys to see. Um, the battery just slides right out. And you'll notice that there are these grooves on the top where the battery slides right into this little catch tool, which helps you just slide the battery in. Everything clips in, very easy to do, not hard to make a connection there. The next thing you'll notice is when you set this analyzer down on a desk, it stands up on that base. That's really nice. It also balances this way as well, nose down, which is nice for reading the screen while you're you know, at a desk. The next thing you'll notice is that the joystick from the previous Vanta models has been removed. I think that's great because the, the advent of touch screens and stuff like that makes it a lot easier. Up top here, we used to have a metal screw, kind of a hand screw up here. And now that's been done, redesigned with a lever to keep this area uh, flush. This is where all your ports are, by the way. You got your power port, SD card, USB port, and then two USB expansion for micro-sized um, items. Things like Wi-Fi adapters and a Bluetooth adapter can go in here, or more storage, USB storage. Um, so this, this device just does this, just clips in like that with your hands, very easy to do. And now all of those ports have been sealed. So that's a really good thing. So now uh, we've kind of gone through the overview of so the ports and the battery. Let's take a look at the front of the analyzer. So here we've got the XRF window, the measurement window on the front. It's been recessed into this front faceplate, which is really nice, so it's flush. Uh, this is gonna keep dust, dirt, and debris out of your analyzer, and it, it stands as the first protection from anything penetrating into your analyzer to hit your detector. You can actually break your detector, your X-ray detector, if you touch it with a Q-tip. That's how delicate they are. So you don't ever wanna touch or clean or use compressed air or anything to clean inside your analyzer. You always wanna send it back to the manufacturer if you need to do that. And you can also see on the front here, these windows just come off with a little pull tap. Um, this is a design we like here a lot at Alloy Geek because I think it's easy for the users. And then you would just pull this off and replace the window. But we'll do that in another video. Lastly, down below here, we've got some uh, pin connectors which will connect to the workstation, things like that. Uh, we won't show the workstation in this video, but let's power this thing on and see how we do. So I hold the power button for just a second and the analyzer's already started going. You can see that the screen is very bright, very nice, um, very nice design, very similar to the previous models of Vanta, and um, it's gonna boot up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna pull in some metal samples in the meantime. We've got a 6061 aluminum sample. We've got two stainless steels, both a 316 and a 304. It's important to be able to do that sort. And then lastly, an aluminum bronze. So we wanna be able to, this is a 955, also 630 is the, the cast equivalent there. But to load in here, password 0000, and boom, it's starting to load. Um, in previous instruments I've seen, some of the older models, it would take a long time to load. You can see how quick this is. So if I say, oh, I wanna do a 6061 right away, okay, I've, um, 
we're waiting for this little play button down here to turn uh, away from gray. So now it's it's on. So when the x-rays come on, the light starts flashing on the sides, and then down here this is a yellow or an orange, and you can see we get an exact match to 6061. Now we didn't use light elements for this, and that's not a problem. So a lot of folks will say, you gotta measure the magnesium. Um, you really don't. This is a smart sort calibration, just making decisions for your operators and for you, so you don't have to. Uh, and it actually will run the light element beams if it feels that it needs to. Underneath the alloy name, there's going to be a little white text that's going to slowly rotate or scroll. And those are going to be little tips and tricks for how the alloy analyzer is sorting. If you need the light beam, if it's a bad match, what else it could be. It's going to give you lots of tips that you may not be familiar with. So you see how this stands up like this? That's a big thumbs up from us here at Alloy Geek. We like that a lot. Now your standard 304 and 316 sorts. If I go here and I just press the trigger one time, that's all I'm doing. Um, and then you'll see real quick in a couple of seconds we're able to get that 304 stainless steel uh, grade match very quickly very easy and you can see how easy this is to read it's saying underneath here it may mix with CF8 which is a cast version of 304 and CF8 has a higher silicon aim usually in the most metal industry we're not concerned about the difference we're concerned about the chrome and the nickel content in those alloys instead so it's a good note but it may not apply to most applications so just a second there to get that great result. Now let's try the 316 stainless steel. So I push the trigger one time, right? Wait a couple of seconds and it's saying, hey, we know that that's 316. It's not running uh, a longer duration or a set time. We can set it to do that, but this smart sort is gonna save you a lot of time by only running the necessary requirements to get that exact match or a really, really strong match. Now this is an aluminum bronze. So this has aluminum in it as well. And the, the thing about this is you don't necessarily need the light element beam to sort this. And you're going to find that this is exactly what this instrument does. It doesn't go to the light element beam. Um, we're able to get a great identification with a very good chemistry, 630 aluminum bronze. Uh, very easy to do with this Vanta. And you were able to see in just a couple of seconds from starting up, we were able to sort all these alloys. And we didn't have an operator making decision. We didn't have to decide how long to run each beam for. That was decided for us by this algorithm that does a great job in doing that. So uh, kudos out of the box. This thing is fast. Um, I really like using it. That smart sort works very well. So as you just saw, the VantaCore is a fantastic handheld XRF. It is similar to the original Vanta uh, program that Olympus had run for many years, except it's got a few additional features. I mean, namely, you're gonna see this big battery hanging off the bottom, which counterbalances this instrument very well, just like the Roman Gladius. And um, on alloys, now we're talking about using smart sort, and the smart sort capability is gonna remove the operator from needing to make as many judgment calls in the field. That means your operator needs to be trained on the safety and the use of this instrument, but doesn't need to be a metallurgist or a highly qualified technical person to make the decisions about what alloys that they're actually um, looking at. The instrument does 99% of that work for them, making this fast and very easy to use. And I know Evident has been very focused on ease of use for their handle XRFs. So if you need accessories for something like your VantaCore or you need parts or a recommendation for what to buy, you can always reach out on AlloyGeek.com. We're always willing to help us. You can either call us, email us, or just reach out directly on the website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.